Where does all the sludge from our wastewater go? Sure, the water is recycled, but what about the residual waste or sludge? Where does the sludge go and how much does it cost to get it there? Well, right now the, the power consumption to, to process the sludge through the digester is probably in the neighborhood of $180,000 for electricity per year, uh, maybe $12,000 in polymer cost per year, and then our disposal costs are around $320,000 a year and going up. So with the potential for increasing the sludge, now there's something interested in using it as a disposal option. Our, our alternatives to disposal of waste sludge is somewhat limited to land spreading and, and you need to further treatment. There, we remove all of the waste and it, and it eventually finds its way to the sludge. That sludge has to be digested and broken down to a certain level and, and a high level of treatment. That's a very expensive process in, in doing that. So what we're running back here is they're literally taking the waste sludge that, that I would be disposing uh, on a landfill and, and they're, the sludge itself is now sterilized and it gives me a, a considerable more disposal options plus a reduction in overall volume. And so that on a cost basis is very appealing to us and, and that is where we're looking at this trial to, uh, to see how that compares with all of our other options for sludge disposal and trying to help the city in a, in a side venue of also reducing its fuel consumption as well. So, we have a staff also in where we get it on the city. And this is a sample. The most important product with this kind of liter machine is the clean water. That's the liquid coming out. That's the liquid. Put in that you smell. Uh -huh. And this is actually uh, uh, clean water, but you cannot drink it yet. No. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what it looked like before, and uh -huh. that's what it looks like after. Uh -huh. There you go. Now that, that water on the right, uh -huh. it's called, called agri water, agriculture uh -huh. water. Yeah, yeah. Because you put it in your grass, your plants, uh -huh. food stock. Uh -huh. Step over here. I okay. Okay. That's coming right out of the machine. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, you know how many gallons per minute per second? Um, right now we're at this machine. We're running right around 30, 35 gallons per minute. Okay. And that's dumping to the river. That's going down into the septic. Yeah, I said going to the yeah. septic. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll empty that tub there. It takes like about eight to ten minutes uh -huh. to fit it to empty that complete tub. So that that the whole how many cubic how many cubic size that? That's like almost that's like 275 gallons. 275 gallons, yeah. it will uh, disappear maybe in about how many about minutes? Eight minutes. Eight minutes, yeah. okay. When we said the clean water, it undergoes very undergo with this, with this uh, sun filtration, two sun filtration, with the two, filter, with the two filters, black carbon filters here, and then we have an UV filtration, then we have clean water here, either go using for irrigation. So this is a perfect machine if you want to do a uh, pure water purification in a sewage uh, uh, environment or if you have a, a problem with the, uh, with the uh, uh, river. This is a perfect machine to purify your water and it can be used for uh, farm or it can be also used for potential for drinking water with another stages of purification. At least from the wastewater to a useful water. And nobody wants nasty gray stuff like that around you, but a new invention might make that something that you really could use. Chemical analysis of that for his State of the Union. That's definitely something worth consideration.